If you want to connect things to your iPad like an audio interface, a MIDI keyboard, a USB flash drive, or even an HDMI display, in this video I'm going to show you how. Let's go. In 2024, all iPads and even iPhones now use USB-C connections, which means you need a USB-C adapter to plug in other USB and HDMI gear. If you're using an older iPad or iPhone, you'll need one of these, a Lightning to USB 3 adapter. I talk all about these in another video you'll find linked in the description. Now, if you go into an Apple store, they'll sell you one of these, the official Apple USB-C multi-port adapter, which has USB, HDMI, and USB-C power paths through. But these things are upwards of $50 depending where you are in the world. So if you want something that is less than $20, that's what I'm gonna show you in this one. This is the Ugreen 5-in-1 adapter. Actually, that's the box. This is the Ugreen 5-in-1 adapter. It's got 100 watt USB-C power pass through one USB 3 and two USB 2 ports and an HDMI connector. What can all of this do for your iPad or iPhone setup? Amazing things. Let's dive in and show you. Here's a close-up look at the device. It's really well built, nice solid construction. You've got your two USB 2 and USB 3 port. The USB-C, that's just for power. I'll show you what that does in a moment. And your HDMI. It's also got a very nice long cable and then it plugs in via USB-C. Very important, I'll show you why in a sec. The adapter simply plugs into any USB-C or Thunderbolt port on your iPad or iPad Pro. And the long cable is good because unlike other devices, you can position it a decent distance away from your iPad, meaning it's not hanging off the edge and causing unnecessary weight and wear on your port. Now, as you can see, I've got Logic Pro for iPad fired up here. I also use GarageBand, so I need an audio interface. This is my recommendation, the Steinberg UR22C, link in the description. Now, because this only needs USB 2, I can use one of the USB 2 ports and plug this one in the right way around. And what you'll notice is that as soon as that's plugged in, your light comes on here and it will connect up immediately. There's your little flashing light there. And in just a moment, boom, connected, ready to go. I can now plug microphones, guitars, and other audio gear in to record, as well as send the audio out to my speakers so I can hear what I'm doing on the iPad. Now, the beauty of a device like this is because there are multiple USB ports, I can also plug in my MIDI keyboard. So let's grab the USB cable for this one. Again, we're going to use one of the USB 2 plugs, and that's gone in there, and our keyboard lights up and is ready to use. <music> And now we can use all the functions of our MIDI keyboard with GarageBand, Logic Pro, or any other app here on the iPad. Hard drives and USB flash drives, you betcha. This time we're going to use the third port here. This is our USB 3.0 port. This is a much faster port, and if you're using a drive or anything that's transferring files, you'll want to use this. Now, as soon as we plug this in, you'll notice that over here on the left, it has brought up our USB drive, and we can start using the files here. We can copy files to and from our iPad as simply as plugging it directly into the USB port. But wait, there's more. We've got an HDMI port on the end here. So if we plug this in, you can actually send the video of your iPad out to any HDMI compatible device. Now you can send it straight to a screen. I've got this set up to go into a USB HDMI adapter and I'll show you how that works. And here I am over here. Yes, this is what I use when I want to live stream or record my iPad screen. So it's a very handy feature to have that HDMI there so I can pop it up here, put my face cam next to it, and it's what I can do to demonstrate all of the different cool stuff in Logic Pro, GarageBand, and any other app on my iPad. Now, I'm lucky that I've got this, which is the iPad Pro M4. It actually has enough power to run all of these devices without being plugged into anything. However, if you do need some extra power, that's where this thing has a very cool feature. It has USB-C power pass-through, and if you plug that in to any USB-C power source all the way up to one 100 watts, you can actually get additional power. So if you're using higher powered USB gear, or you've got an older iPad that won't power up your interfaces and your other gear, you can actually plug in pass through power. It'll power up your iPad, it'll keep you charged, and it will power all your gear at the same time. So what are you waiting for? Grab yourself the Ugreen 5-in-1 adapter and connect up all of your gear to your iPad or your iPhone. There's links in the description. Those are affiliate links. So if you do make a purchase, they will break off a small chunk and send it my way. We've got other recommendations over at the Studio Live Today gear guide if you want to learn all the different bits of kit that I use here in the home studio. I hope you found this one useful and I'll see you next time.